since we're done with resolutions. Joe, do you ever want to? A couple things Dan asked me to share with the board tonight. Uh, the first thing was the uh, closure plan for Rose Avenue. Uh, there's there's a, a, a problem on the screen. Uh, was to be done to saw custody of the pavement, uh, remove the pavement in its entirety, and then on sheet two, uh, it's supposed to be a mound of dirt. Up in the upper left hand corner is the proposed vegetated bird retail mound of dirt, and then there'll be some uh, plantings along the center line of that mound uh, to uh, do everything. Uh, all this work, I believe, is to be done by uh, public works. Who's going to be liable if somebody wrecks into this? It's just a good legal question. It's a public facility, just like somebody wrecked into our sign up here. I mean, the insurance company would be more liable than the There's signage. I actually drove it the other day because I was curious. There's yeah. signage all coming down already that says that it's no outlet. So if somebody does it, it would be at their own fault. Sure. That makes sense. Dancing some of the plans as basically maintenance free. I believe so, yes. I mean, it's quite. I believe that's why I selected the Evergreen uh, Green Shrubs. Evergreens Greens are pretty much... Uh, oh, we have to talk about the mound area with the, the main grassy space. He said we'd be planning in something that will... Uh, probably, they're probably, they're probably going to specify a, a low growth, no mode of uh, grassy. Um, and naturally, we'll remove the pipe and everything that's there. Okay. We'll remove the pipe and stuff that's there. Yes. 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 Uh, the other thing we wanted me to bring, bring to the board's attention was that we're working on the uh, plans for the public works facility, and I'd like to have a meeting with the board at some point in the future to go over the plans and give you an update on that. Do you guys want to throw out some dates now? We can have an yeah. evening meeting and just get that scheduled. Yeah. Um, what about? Does Monday work for uh, What about Monday the 19th? 7 p.m. Can you, Joe, will you check with Dan yeah, and make sure that works and let us know? Yeah. Thank you. And then uh, the other thing I wanted to point out to you in regards to the, uh, the one bridge, the, uh, the original Heights Bridge that uh, there's really no need for us to implement the uh, center pier uh, change rule or uh, order on that. It's going to be a uh, cost savings for about $5,200, which would be some walk lanes. It was $5,200. No, it was, it was, I thought it was like 5000 Yeah. Okay. Uh, We're not taking it out. We'll, we'll yeah. replace the center pier. Yeah. And we'll, they, he said that there's a plan to put some walk lanes in the stream to uh, redirect the water away from the center pier. So we don't get that silt going up. Right. So it's be self clean. That's, there's a big name for that. Bluefield geomorphology or something like that. Um, yeah, yeah, that would be for short. That's a big thing. So yeah. That's good. Okay. Okay. That's all I have. That's the only question for the report. Um, I want to take a second, Matt. Chief Matt, our uh, new fire chief, after one month here. How's it going? Yeah, actually, I think three weeks. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm, three I'm ready weeks. to put my two week notice in. <laughs> hey, none of that. Just kidding, just kidding. Um, yeah, it's, it's going well. Um, I've been obviously getting acquainted with the, the township folks here in, in my office here. Uh, I've been meeting with the chief officers in, in the three uh, fire, fire stations. We've been meeting weekly. Uh, we've um, started with training as far as bringing the departments together and working together and training together. Uh, we've started the process of, of discussing communications and, and response and, and how to streamline uh, our, our volunteers uh, you know, working together. Uh, <clears throat> things we're, we're kind of on, on our radar are uh, medical physicals for everyone, minimum standards for for interior firefighters in, in, a, in a, an agility test, uh, writing standard operating procedures. And you know, all three departments have these, but I think it's safe for me to say that, that they, they've kind of outgrown them a little bit. And, and that's common with fire departments. So we're going back to revisit them and kind of bring them all under one roof for, 
for, for, I guess is the best way of putting it. Um, I talked to Cindy recently about uh, putting together a, a long-term plan for fire station locations, apparatus, uh, replacement, and um, I, I'll tell you, I, I'm not complaining about this, but I'm, I'm being pulled in a lot of different directions, but that's okay. It's the, the township needs, uh, you have a great fire service here, you certainly do, but I think we just need to bring it all together and work together a, a little better. And I think that's my, you know, that's one of my main reasons for being here. But overall, I, I, uh, I can't express how, how whether, whether it's Carol or, or Dawn or, or the supervisors, uh, the public works director, whoever, just kind of reaching out to me, making me feel welcome, tell, you know, asking me if I need anything. Uh, so, so it's been, it's been very, been very easy transition coming, coming into the township. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be here uh, every monthly, and um, I've already talked to Carol just here in the last week about we're going to streamline the reporting that each fire department does. Right now, as you walk in, you see kind of three different reports. Well, we're going to, you're going to start seeing one report. It'll be from all three fire stations, but it's, it's going to kind of be condensed and a little more user-friendly, if you will. So little things like that are just kind of on the, on the map here. And, um, you know, we got a long road ahead of us, but, but I, think it's, I think it was a good move um, in hiring the fire chief and, and uh, bringing this all together. So, so look forward to the future. And, and uh, if I'm curled up in a corner, then you'll know that it's gotten to me uh, so far so good. We have faith. We have faith. Thank you. Um, moving on to Board of Supervisors discussion and new business. Anybody have anything they want to bring up? Old business? Yeah, under old business. <clears throat> With school being out uh, a month now, mm -hmm. and Joe, I don't know, if, do you have any information on this? Where are we at with the demolition of the existing used post office? You know if there's been a contract put out to demolish this and put the new piece of road in or Frank, to answer your question, I don't know anything, but uh, fortunately I have a meeting with our architect in another community tomorrow, and I can ask him at that time, and I can put the board up. They did put it out for a bit. Recently? Yeah, about two weeks ago. Okay. Okay, good, thanks. Thanks for letting that out. Thank Watch you. So you got to go something on new business? Yep. Um, I mentioned about the, the French plant, the demolition, that's, that's when we were, we were ordered, court ordered to demolish it, it will be at our expense and, and uh, then we were ordered to clean the property. Um, so I mentioned that someone came forward with an interest in trying to restore the building and put it back in the tax rolls. Um, I know that you guys here today, but uh, my, my interest in was that, that once we put out that money for the demolition, we're going to be sitting on it. And maybe the solicitor can bring us up to date on that. Whenever we do something like that, lean a property, um, how long does it take for us to be able to try to, to execute on it when we can actually sell the property and recoup some of our money? It can take it can take a while. I mean, it can take up to a year. Well, just a year. That's, that's quick for you. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I always understood that there are lean wise and that six percent of the standard interest rates get added every year to it, and uh, then we just have to wait it out until the property sells or something like that to well, get our money. Well, are we so, trying to? Sell, I mean, would we demolish it and then try to put it up for sale, or the property owner? Well, no. If we demolish it, we lean the property, then we have to pay the contractor who did it. Right. We, we have to wait for the property owner to sell. Right, and yeah. uh, I don't know where we are in relationship to the tax of the road and things like that on it, the back taxes. Um, I don't know where we s s stay in that hierarchy for our part. But I'm just saying, this, this uh, fellow came forward and he says that he had a structural engineer look at it and he, um, he, he said he said he could just fix the structure we saw him. And he said, um, give us paperwork this that he should have an architectural plan ready show that he has the money in the bank or, or, or can't get it uh, <coughs> to, to take it and actually get the work done and not just buy it and put the sitting condition that's in 
I'm fine with that. I mean, I I don't know what kind of process we have to have Gretchen go back to Judge Emory. And well, she talked to Gretchen about it, and she says she would I go, saw go to Judge Emory, and uh, she feels there's no reason why Judge Emory wouldn't say you know, if there's a chance to you know, put her in the tax rules. Right. The, the other thing, if, if we demolished it, we would leave a clean level lot there. Now, the question is whether that lot could sell for you know how much our money we could get back. And then, um, I don't know how usable it is. Uh, the property around it is limited for uh, developing that building, but the, he says he has a, a, a pending or sales agreement conditioned on him getting the, that property, but the surrounding parcels around it, that I guess it's owned by Jim Coleman, and uh, they, they can get extra acreage there to... to so for what he would put? For, for parking, for to use no, the No, no, I mean, what would he use the building for? Apartments? Well, he wants to turn it into six apartments. I mean, I think we're going to look pretty four, foolish four, in front four, of four, Kathy Emery. We paid, we're going to look foolish. We paid Gretchen all this money and all this time, and how much time Mike has had in it. I mean, there's no parking there. And I understand what Jim Coleman did, but the right away, my mother runs. So he's going to use that. Well, but the point is, he said he'd get it. You can step to the microphone if you want to answer some of these questions. 